Hello Pisces, welcome into your weekly love message. Sage Sunset Healing Taru here. So these are general messages and they may not all apply to all of you. So take the messages that apply and the rest you let them fly. If you're interested in booking a personal reading, visit sagesunsethealing.com. Alright, so let's get it started. Someone loves you. And it's this earth sign or this wealthy person. Or this could be your energy and you really love someone. Maybe you're, someone wants to commit to you. Someone wants to impress you with gold, with luxury, with a lifestyle. Someone is dreaming of you, thinking of you passionately. It's very attracted to you too. I feel like there is a hindrance of sorts. As if this person has other commitments. It's like people from different tribes that, like you're from one tribe and you, you see a female in another tribe and you are, you have fallen in love, Pisces, but you can't love this person. Like the people of your tribe, they have a keen eye on you. You know what I mean? It's hard to slip out. It's hard to get um through the fences to go visit this person. Well, what can you do? You know, what can you do? See, this person is your soulmate. It's a familiar love. I know it. When you look at this person, you feel something. It is in their eyes. I don't know when you got the chance to look in this person's eyes, but Pisces, I feel like you did. And you felt something over the fence, possibly. You know what I mean? And, and you felt it viscerally. You wanted to speak to this person to say something, but maybe you couldn't find the words. Maybe you were being watched. Maybe you were at some contest or some competition. Maybe you were to work. Maybe you were working in a bank. I don't know. But you had. it's almost like you had to remain disciplined, focused, diligent. See what I mean? Yeah, so this person came strolling by. And I feel like you're a bit confused. Now here you are. A sincere person. I feel like I said you've been dreaming of this person. Thinking of creating love. All of this. All of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There may be another person in the way. Could be another. See like we have two tribes here. Another king. Another king. Another person's territory. You know. Like, you're going to have to get through her father or her chief or someone who is vigilant. But it's Pisces. Maybe someone is waiting for someone to become tired or I hear toxic. <sighs> toxic. And look at that. Soulmate energy again. Soul ties. I feel like you are determined. If this is not your energy, Pisces, if someone is determined to get over this fence to find out. Who this person is. They're going to get into the camp. Just so you know. It's become their destiny. Like their own mission. It's their own secret obsession. Let me tell you. To get over this fence. And get into this person's tent. And find out what the heck is really going on here. Who are you? I know you mean something to me. Speak to me. That's the energy. So we have soul tie. Signed. Signed. Soul contract coming together so this can also be intercourse you know like mm, love making like really truly passionate intimacy and love making between two souls divine um could be fire sign earth sign could be fire sign water sign earth sign Whoa, someone is gonna be disappointed i want to connect with you no connection Someone is afraid, shy, or hurt, and I hear set up, maybe robbed jewelry or jabbed. I don't know. It's almost like going over the fence, there's a trap there somewhere. It's almost like watch your determination, you know. Um, because maybe you're, you're you know, out of tune, out of alignment, not using your intuition. It's that energy of that person that really wants to get over the fence and ends up getting caught in a trap. Yes, he's strong. Yes, he's powerful. But his own will and desire and haste and passion and lust, maybe, you know, got him caught. He wasn't thinking well. So someone's got to be careful of that. Look, messages. So this. Someone could get caught, 
black and I hear blackmailing. There could be messages or warrants. See, someone operated in the heat of the moment. I feel like you're going to now let it go and think about it again. Because I feel like even as I speak, Pisces, you, you're in this mode, this energy, this intense energy of finding out who this person is, wanting to know more. But I feel like you're about to relent, to relax, to give. You know, to let the new feelings, the fire, the passion just fill you the excitement of new chase new love and let's see what happens oh my god twin flame energy soulmate a new vision making love i am ready to love mm. about to flourish <laughs> someone is overcome it's like someone cannot believe it someone is speechless it's like someone is saying, I know that this person is my soulmate. I just can't. I just need. I just, oh my God. I just, that's the energy I'm feeling from someone. That they want to explain it so bad. Like, this is so incredible. Like, this person has all these qualities and these traits. But it's just like, and you want to explain it so badly to someone, Pisces, about this soulmate energy. This twin flame, your north star. It's like, it's filling you up. It's something you've been looking for. Pisces, wow, the jack of hearts, I want to say something, I want to love you, to hold you, to have you, it is my desire to make you mine, so, and then we have, oh, now this feels like, so now we have three kings, because now, this feels like someone literally coming in and saying, nope, you know what I mean? Like you were in the midst of um, thinking that you're going to connect with this person. You were daydreaming. It's like you were in the midst of daydreaming. <laughs> and then someone came through and literally interrupted that vision just now. And it's this person. And they're saying, nope. Like they're saying, think again. Dream again. Not a chance. Look, the truth, the Ace of Swords is on the bottom of the deck, Pisces. Get to the point. So something about your intuition as well. Get to the point, your intuition. So let's see. Give me a minute. So someone is blocking this connection, preventing this connection. Yes, between the two of you. That is why there was a disappointment here. I want to connect with you. But you can't. You may be trying to send someone a message to speak clarity, some truth. Maybe about the rabbit hole. Maybe about luck, fortune, soulmate energy. It's like you want to reach through and tell this person who you truly are. To say, listen, I know who you are. We belong together or something like that. But they won't allow you to speak to her or him. Someone is shy also. Shy. Someone is shy. This person that you want to speak to is shy also. And I feel like this person is in a dark room somewhere. Like they're not telling this person the truth. Like this person that you want to speak to, she or he, Pisces, they don't. They're not aware of some truth. Because the people that are protecting her or him, they have this person in a in a, a dark room. I don't even see furniture you know, it's like this person grew up in this, it's like um, a damsel like that grew up in a castle, hid away from the rest of the world. I don't know who these people were that were keeping her or him away from true life. But then here you come, see what I mean? Wanting to be true, wanting to give some truth, wanting to reach through this person through love. You know, this person here, this guard, something about this guard here. It's almost like I could distract this guard if I want to, and then I could slip in through here. Love you. Because this guard, something about his eyes being turned over in his head, like dead. I don't know, possibly poisoned. Like that energy when someone's eye turn over and, they, and there's two X on the eyeballs. Like a frog. Hmm, croaking. Yeah. Croaking. But he's still standing up. But it's not croaked. Maybe sleep. 
a spell, a trance. I don't know. And I hear the tiger, so that the tiger, I don't know what that means. Like, so that the tiger can slip in. I don't know, man. Pisces. We don't know, like, Pisces, you're very deep. And so <laughs> when we begin to speak with your energy, like, if you're not deep, you're not going to get it. So let the messages resonate with you. Because someone wants to come in. Something about your throat chakra as well. And this energy of tiger. Okay? Yeah. Because some, there's something that wants to come through to you. And it's very honestly powerful with the swords energy here. I w remember I was saying the truth. Something like diving into the rabbit's hole energy. Let's see what this is. Clear communication, organization, light, clear energy. Okay. You see, Pisces, someone wants to chase you, to pursue you. Someone is ready to love you. Someone thinks you're their twin flame. You're their north star. But they're being oppressed and I hear a surgery by this one you know what I mean this one here says nope and it could be an energy like someone is saying no you're not ready to love it's something that could be brought from childhood like a memory a feeling like once your father may have told you something about love and you kept it with you and so even though you love this person it's like there's an energy within you that keeps you from this one sincerity so you have a lot of creative energy you work with a lot of energy you may be very very busy i feel like that helps you when you're in work, you're creating, you're visualizing, you're dreaming. I feel like that powers you up. It revs you. So even though it enhances your focus, ability, your intention, and what you're at, you become so attractive when you do that. When you work, you attract a lot, even wealth. You know what I mean? Because of your focus ability. So when you're in this mode of powering up, and I'm hearing zest. And that you're doing it because you're trying to distract yourself from, from this thing that's telling you, no, you can't have this soulmate, twin flame. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Okay? But the more you work, Pisces, the more you dive into it and keep going and um, pursuing and chasing it. I feel like that's when the heat, like you, you oh, it's like a, a, a bicycle pedal being, um, it's like propelling until it builds momentum. And you begin to glow. And I feel like that radiation is what really pulls your true soulmate toward you. In light. Enlightened. Remember we did. We came up on the queen of pentacles just now. Which would match the king. She would match the king of pentacles energy. So both of them would be radiating similar light in power. You know what I mean Pisces? So much love, much blessings. A lot is to come messages a lot flourishing around you like i say a lot of work energy so i feel like that will help to dissipate this oppressed the energy of oppression on on your love energy here your love life and your twin flame journey all right so much love i hope you found messages that inspire you can help you on your journey if you did like the video share it with those you love subscribe to the channel come back around again for whenever i upload new content like this one for you pisces i will see you then take care next week bye